All right, welcome, friends, to another draft here on Magic Arena. Is this going to be a tube video? Maybe it is. It's also live action, so you'll get tube nubby on the Twitchers. I opened a Geth Thane of Contracts. This is my very first draft of Phy Phyrexia All Will Be One. Other creatures you control get minus one, minus one. Return target creature from a grave to the battlefield if it, gain, if it gains, if this creature would leave the battlefield. That's very strong. The negative anthem effect is awkward. Unctusses. Unctusses. That is a weird name. A toxic one. And a crude power and toughness is four, four is long. That's a good card. I don't know how many artifacts are in the format. Target creature you control gets plus hexproof and gains hexproof and destruct. That card's annoying. With toxic? This is. Uh, what was that? What was that green card back in like Scars of Mirrodin or something that was like the pump effect that you kill people with? This is super annoying. Equip creature gets plus O plus 2 and has toxic 1. I got through basically the uncommons chat. I did it. Well played. Bunch of lands. What do these do? ETB tapped. You can sack them to draw a card. Those lands are fantastic. Toxic doesn't scale. Oh, wait. Is it only like the one? Oh, you only gain... A player dealt dam combat damage by a creature with toxic also gets poison counters equal to that creature's total toxic value. I see. I see. Okay. Fair. Saved. Saved. We are learning already, and it's only pack two. Annex Sentry. 1-4 Toxic 1. Enters the battlefield. Exile target. Creature. Artifact or creature. Opponent. So that's very good. I'm going to highlight that. Equip creatures you control. Gain indestructible. Some kind of equip theme. Magmatic Sprinter. Whenever it enters the battlefield. Put two oil counter target artifact or creature you control. At the beginning of your end step. Return to a tornado. What the? Oil counters. Why doesn't it tell me what an oil counter does? God, this is bad. This is bad. Each opponent gets a poison counter draw card. That's annoying. Nice burn spell here. Deals two amateur creature. If that creature is toxic, deals four. Oh, God. Player don't. Oh, God. At the beginning of combat in your turn, target creature can just plus one. If that creature is toxic, that seems pretty good. Return target permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Proliferate. That's good. Blade Hold War Whip. Wait, four Mirrodin. When this enters the battlefield, create a 2-2, two, two, create... What the heck? That looks like a fake card to me. That looks like a fake card. 2-1 <laughs> one life link whenever another artifact. That's okay. Enchanted permanent can't attack or block. Out. That's just a better pacifism. Wow. Two oil counters. Remove an oil counter from predation target. Okay. 3-2 toxic one dies. Make a 1-1 one, one camp block. Toxic, toxic. Jesus. Everything has like poison and toxic in this format. I'm going to take this. That seems good. It's a 3-mana 2-2 two, two double strike. And then you can move around the double strike. Equip abilities you activate of other art equipment is one less. Put a creature from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control proliferate. 2-4 Vigilance for 4. As long as you can draw. Okay, that's okay. 1-1 one, one Flying. When it dies, draw a card. That's nice. And there's a better put one of the instant resources. So it puts it on top and not in hand. 3 mana 2-2 two, two Flyer. Corrupted. As long as an opponent has 3 or more poison counters, it has Lifelink, Death Touch. That's Dece. This 4 Mirrodin thing is weird. I don't like that wording. I might actually just try to go, like, red-white equipment here. I'm going to try taking all these Vermeerd and stuff. Another Geth. <laughs> five mana, five, five, Menace Reach. I'll take that. Incisor Glider, one, three, flying for two, and it attacks an opponent. has three or more poison counters. Creature you control, get plus one, plus one. Wow, that's not bad. That's a flyer with that ability? Chimney Rabble makes more creatures for you to equip. Two oil counters, remove an oil counter from it. Target creature control gains haste. So it can be a 4-5 haste for 5 on its own. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker and gets a poison counter. Death touch indestructible tricks. Testament bear, look at the top three cards. Alright, let's just take the 5-5 five, five menace reach. I'm just going to lock into red-white here. That way I don't have to like read as many cards. Another 4 mirrored in. Equip 2, equip creature gets plus 0, plus 1, and so it's a 
two, three for three. Uh, this is a two-time rum rummager. It has other oil synergies, I guess. Oh, I like this card a lot. I like these type of cards that can grab you a land, but also do something later on as well, and it's cheap enough. It's only one mana. Uh, that looks weak, I guess. It was better for the two oil cannons. Really untapped, it gets... Oh, that's a nice aggressive four drop. That's common. Nahiri's Sacrifice is an additional cast cost. Sack an artifact or creature with mana value X. Deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. It's a sorcery. Huh. Complete Devotion. Target creature you can get plus two, plus two, and ten to turn. If that creature has Toxic, draw a card. Looks like Terramorphic uh, Expanse is a reprint. I'm just going to... It's not a bad 6-drop. I don't think this is going to be that great, but I'll try it. Another 4 mirror. And this is a 5-mana 4-3 Vigilance. That equips and gives plus 2, plus 1 in Vigilance. Soulless Jailer. That's some kind of, kind of weird constructed card. Okay, there's apparently one of these skull bombs for each color. It cycles for one or two total. And then it has some ability. It's a sorcery and draw, so these are probably pretty good. The skull bombs, I don't know what the other colors do. Flash, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. As long as an opponent has three or more poison counters, enchanted creature gets an additional plus one plus oh and has first strike. So here's another green one. Here's the white land. That's a free roll. We should probably take that. I only have one creature with toxic or whatever, right? Yeah, so toxic is based, or the, the poison that they get is based on the toxic number and not the power of the creature. So if a creature has 10 power but toxic 1, they only get one poison counter. Equipment spells you cast cost one less. That's kind of nice. Equip Activated abilities equipment you control that target. This also cost one less. That's just really good for this deck. So is that trick, actually. That was uncommon, but I'm going to try this guy. Whenever another artifact or creature you control has been a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on this. When it attacks, you may remove two oil counters when you do target creature. That's not bad. Enters the battlefield, scry two, then each opponent may scry one. Oh, this is kind of like that weird golem from Dominaria, where you attack and each player draws a card, kind of. Oh, they just reprinted, like, some artifact version of the uh, Phryxian Ghouls. Okay, that was pack one. Capricious Hellraiser. 4-4, four, four, this spell costs 3 less to cast if you have 9 or more cards in your graveyard. It has flying. When it enters the battlefield, exile 3 cards at random from your graveyard. Choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them and copy it. You may cast... Is that even good? I mean, it's a 4-4 four, four flyer. It's probably not bad. Apostle of Invasion. That's kind of scary. Baby Elish Norn looking card. 1-1 one, one, double strike toxic one. That's also pretty damn scary with all my... Oh, everything looks like Elish Norn. <laughs> what is this dude doing? <laughs> nice outfit. 5-mana uh, 3-3 three, three flying. Enters the battlefield. Create 2. That's good. That's really good too. I'm not taking that thing. I think this card looks nuts. So does the uh, toxic one. Oh, well, I guess I got the toxic one. Another sentry. That's good. 2-2 two, two Flying Toxic 1, ETB, another target creature you control with Toxic gets plus... That's pretty solid. Hey, Throwing Bird reprint. I know that card. Necrogen Communion, a chain creature you control, and chain creature has Toxic 2 when it dies, return that card to the battle. Well, that's 2 mana? That's like, okay. Toxic 1, as long as it's your turn, Duelist of Deep Faith has First Strike. These cards are always super annoying to play against, especially if I'm in an aggro deck like this. Uh, Ward 2. Oh, this is going to be another really annoying card for the equipment deck. Ward 2, and then it gets bigger if it's equipped. I have to imagine this card is good, though, right? Two sentries seems nice. 
Doldred's Edict. Instant, choose one. Opponent sacks a non-token creature. Opponent sacrifices a creature token, or opponent sacrifices a Planeswalker. I don't really like Edict effects, but that's probably Constructed playable, if nothing else. Destroy target artifact. If you control that artifact, create three 1-1 one, one red Phryxian Goblin creature. It's like a Kaldotha Rebirth. Uh, I guess we might take that. Indoctrination Attendant. 4-mana, 3-4, Toxic 1. ETB, you may return another permanent. You control the zoner's hand. If you do, create a 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. Oh, Volt Charge! Hey, Volt Charge is in this format! That's a nice pickup too, huh? Three damage, any target proliferate. Okay, I'm sure his chat was screaming at me. Cacophony Scamp deals kind of damage to a player. You may sacrifice if you proliferate. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. It's like a Fireblade Charger type card. Uh, that seems good. So six mana to exile a creature, or three mana to exile any non-land permanent. Or maybe it's a little bit expensive. Could take Autonomous Furnace. I mean, the, the Scamp is good with all of our equipments. But this is Creature Removal Instant Speed. X Gold Slash. A little bit of removal. Two damage to our creature if that creature is toxic. Yeah, this just seems like really good removal, huh? With a Thrumming Bird going around. Red Sun's Twilight. Destroy up to X target artifacts. If X is 5 or more for each artifact, destroy it this way. Create a token that's a copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Exile them. There do seem to be some number of... Artifacts in the formats. I don't know if that's good or bad. That seems decent to me. I don't... I think you're just blowing up, like, artifacts with this, right? It seems good enough. Like, we have some artifact creatures. I'm going to give it a try. Serum Core Chimera. 4 mana, 2, 4 flyer. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on it. Remove 3 oil counters, draw a card, then discard an online card. I mean, this, this card's nuts. I'm going to take the... Fir no, that one's not a good... I'm going to take this. I might splash that card. This card seems insane. It's like a baby hypothesis all on a 2, 4 flyer. Exile target creature or artifact you control, then return to the battlefield. Then return target artifact or creature from the graveyard of the battlefield. Cinder slash Ravager, six mana, five, five. Spell costs one less to cast for each permanent you control with the oil counters on it. Wow, that's really good. Five, five Vigilance with a nice ability. I'm taking this Lightbringer, I guess, for the equipment. We wield this thing. Five mana, three, three, Flyer makes two one ones. With Toxic? This just seems like a really good common. Okay, I'm in. Take another Lightbringer. Oh, Prism's in this too. Ooh, 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 I didn't notice that earlier in this pack, but Prism would be good for the Serum Core. I'm guessing I'm probably supposed to stay with two color though and not splash. When you cast an creature spell, but... Uh, I don't know about that one. Nice land. We have a lot of three drops. That's not good. I wasn't looking at my curve. It's a 4-4 four, four Vigilance in our deck a lot of the time. Maybe not a lot of the time. Argentum Masticore, 5-5 five, five, First Strike Pro Multicolor. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice unless you discard a card. When you discard a card this way, destroy target non-land permanent opponent controls with mana value less than... Wait. Destroy target non-land permanent opponent controls. Okay, that's very good. Oftentimes you might not even be blowing anything up, maybe discarding a land, but that seems that's a five five first strike for five with potential free ish kill. Affinity for artifact affinity's back in this. Creatures you control plus two plus one. Attracts a skittered thing. I don't have enough time to read this card. It has too many words on it. 
Ossification. Enchant basic land you control. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature. That's great. I'm taking that. It's like a chain to the rocks. Arena reprint. With some Vraska Jace mm -mm -mm art. Another Chimera. Eye of Malkator. ETB Scry 2. Whenever another artifact. That's kind of neat. It's like a weird... Uh, what's that 2 mana enchantment that turns into a 3-3 three, three flyer? Whoa! Wandering Eternal Wanderer. 5 mana, 6 power. No more than one creature can attack this each combat. Alright, lots of words. Exile up to one target artifact or creature. Return that card to the battlefield. Under control at the beginning of the next... And step, create a 2-2 two, two double striker. For each player, choose a creature that player can... Alright, whatever, I'm taking it. It's a Planeswalker and limited. The zero is make a 2-2 two, two first... Uh, sorry, 2-2 two, two double strike, so... Whatever. <laughs> I'm taking it. Four mana, draw three, lose three. Each opponent has three or more poison counters, loses three. Uh, I don't think I picked up enough. Oh, another two more spell bombs. This one's... Turn a creature from your... Okay. All those spell bombs look good on first glance. Three mana, zero, zero, flying. Enters the battlefield with an oil counter. Gets plus one, plus one for each oil counter on it whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Wow. That thing gets fat fast. I like that card. That's a sideboard card. Two, two, flying, toxic one. Tapper? Expensive tapler, tapper or a really good tapper. I don't need any more threes. There's also another free roll land if we want to or whatever this thing. Oh, the menace equipped, dude. I'm going to take that. He says he takes another three. It was about if you may turn on the turn. Um, I don't really think we're doing that much poisoning, right? I mean, we have a to couple of toxic cards, but... I might just take this thing here. I don't know if we're playing any of these. Okay, I mean, six pick, arrest, two mana. Shrapnel Slinger. When it was... Counter target spells on this pick, pay two. Counter. That's good. Two and the rest on the bottom of your library. Anyway. Instant speed! Anticipate with proliferate. That's nice too. I'm not reading that wrong, right? Enchant Artifact Creature or Planeswalker. Yeah, it's just nice. Cephalopod Sentry. Star 5 Flying Power to the Kingdom of... So it's a 1-5 by itself. It's not bad. Whenever another Artifact or Creature you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on it, remove 4 oil counter, turn again. That's a nice grindy card. Bardiche! Sure, more equipment. Crawling Chorus, 1-1. One, one, one. I don't think we want that. Another Helm seems okay for 3 mana. This is probably not bad, too. Equipped Creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and then Equipped Creatures you control gain Indestructible, but I, I think we just want more equipment since I didn't take that much. Another Free Roll Land. Dude, these Chimeras, though. I think this Chimera is really sick. Man, not being able to play them kind of sucks. Okay. Yeah, these skull bomb cards are really good. Are a lot of value. Anyways. Toxic 2 with menace. That's going to kill a lot of people. Vault progress. Cool. All right. That was my first draft of the format. Let's build our deck. I have infinite three drops. We're not cutting that. This is maybe 
I do think we just want all of our two drops we have, even if this one... No, this is fine with all of my equipment. Like, if you look at my creature count, it's 14, but that's not counting all of the four Mirrodin cards. Like, that's a 3-1 that's a for two. Removal, removal, double striking Toxicer, Toxic, Toxic. Like, plus one, plus O on an equipment's not very good, I guess. But it, we have, like, two of these Lightbringer cards. This is expensive removal, but it's probably good enough. We want both of those. I don't think this makes much sense in our deck. Go to a graveyard from the battlefield. It's not bad, though. I mean... Target creature can't block is a strong ability when you're attacking. Ten artifacts. So this is going to be a four mana, four, four vigilance. A lot of the time, it's good enough for me. The Bardiches are a little bit slow. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut maybe the. I think this is definitely main deckable, in best of one. From what I saw. Like, what's that? Uh, I think it's called Into the Core. Do you remember that from Scars of Mirrodin block? Four mana, exile two artifacts. I think a lot of the time that was what this card's going to be, although it's a sorcery instead of an instant. Although, I guess Scars of Mirrodin block had a lot more artifacts, maybe? Better artifacts? I have six equipment. I can probably cut one of these Bardiches. Did I read the full Planeswalker? For each player, choose a creature that player controls. Each player sacrifices all creatures they chose. Control not chosen this way. What about it? I mean, it's a Planeswalker Unlimited. The odds are it's going to be good. Like, 6 mana, make a 2-2 two -two double striker every turn for 0 loyalty is real nice, if nothing else. Oh, I get to choose for them as well. Ah, I mean, even better. Yeah, great. Even if, even if you deleted the final ability, I would play this card in limited. <laughs> so... I could run 17 lands with three of these tap lands that draw. Sorry, I could run 18 lands if we wanted to. And we have plenty of stuff to do with our mana since we have a bunch of equipment to move around. Minus Helm, what is Helm? I don't know what, oh, one of the Helms. Yeah, this is my weakest equipment. Uh, it, it, I don't know how many artifacts are in the format. Maybe we'll play a game or two first and see how good this would be main deck. I'm sure this is fine main deck, but... Like I said, I kind of want to run 18 lands here, too. Oh, all the tokens are artifacts, too? Oh, the mites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll main deck it. Um, that's at four equipment now. I don't want to go any lower than that. So I'm just going to cut one more random creature. I guess I don't need this 2-2. Two -two. And I think, I think I like eight, running 18 lands here. No! This is the freaking early access account. I don't, I have to scroll over for the good lands. Oh, I don't even have the good lands! No! I'm done with this. I don't want to play anymore. Eh, I don't know if they're in the story. It doesn't matter. Who cares? All right, and off we go to round one here of my very first ever Frixia All Will Be One draft. I hope I drafted well, given that I had no clue what any of these cards did. World first seven wins on the way for all you Twitchers and Tubers alike. Yeah, I said I wanted 18 lands. We have plenty of stuff to do with our mana and three of our lands. Um, 
sack away for extra cards. Oh, a good curve out. Two mana, three one. I don't know why I don't like four Mirrodin text. That irks me for some reason. It just doesn't, it sounds like something you would do in like a, one of those offset formats. Sacrifice to target you. I assume all of these are sorceries, right? I don't actually remember double checking. Oh, we can eat that, can't we? Exile target. No, we don't even care about that thing. I know. Boomer complains about new text. And each opponent may scry one. And I'm scrying two. Okay. I'm just going to go aggro. I'm going to probably just annex that. I have 18 lands. We don't need to top that. Uh, so this one gives plus one, plus plus one, minus one. This gives plus O, oh, plus one. So I can make a three, two instead. What is this thing? One, three, death touch, toxic one. If that creature has toxic, it deals four damage to that creature instead. That is slightly convenient. Exile up to one target, artifact or creature, return that card to the mana at the beginning of the next player's end step. I'm the best in the world! Thanks for playing. Oh man, this format's easy. Anyways, it's Frixie all the way gone. It's a new set, it's fine. Just curve out perfectly, top out, top deck perfectly. Easy game. <laughs> Got our new thanks the prime subby. Steve Ass Games badly thanks for the nine months. Scoundrel thanks for the nine months subby. J Doom thanks for the twelve months. Hogan Long one hundred and twenty, one hundred ten. Holy smokes, Bagel Boy. Thanks for the five months of Prime. What's up, Logic? Thanks for the five months. Nikki the Mute, thanks for the five months. Oh my gosh, I miss so many of you. Chris Man, thanks for the two months. Bozo Skeleton, thanks for the 12 months. You can reach Trevor, thanks for the 55. Yeah. Andy Capable Juju, thanks for the eight months. Fairgrounds Warden, Fairgrounds Warden. So this is a 2-2 two, two double strike. Or I can play a 3-2 Ward 2. Let's go Pressure. I don't think we need to Sentry either of those. The Skull Bomb could be okay to Sentry. That would stop them from cycling it. Glissa Sunslayer. 3-3 three, three, first strike death touch. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, choose one. Draw a card, lose life. Destroy target enchantment. Remove up to three counters from... That card's nuts. Wow, that card's insane. Three, three, first strike death touch. You can, like, never beat it in combat. Swirling Bird wins, thanks for the 30 months of Prime. Clickums, thanks for the five gifted subbies. Ansith, thanks for that 19 months. Fallout, well, thanks for the tier one subby. Thugnificent, thanks for the six months.
Urabrask is another rare. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put an oil counter on it, then create an X1 red Phryxian Horror creature token with trample and haste. Where X is the number of oil counters on it, sacrifice that token of the be That is super annoying. It's really slow, though. I don't even think I'm going to bother. What does this equipment cost? Three? No, five? Equip abilities you activate of other equipment cost one less to activate. I don't know if I want to bother using sentry on that thing. I think we'd rather go for pressure here, right? Okay, what does the wanderer do again? Trample haste, where X and them. It can get out of control if they, like, proliferate onto it a lot, but man, it's really slow. Uh, I'm gonna be casting on creatures. Oh, that's the pinger. Whatever. It's not even bad to just move the equipment over here. 4-3 double strike ward 2. But obviously I'm going to be playing out our big mama. No, the double striker holds off the forge creature because it only has one toughness. No more than one creature can attack the Eternal Wanderer each combat. Uh, exile to one target creature artifact. So that's a flicker type, flicker wisp type effect. Yeah, I mean, the card's just insane. Six mana is, sure, a little bit expensive, but the card is insane. Molten Rebuke. She dead, but then you're dead. Oh, I could have flickered my Blade Hold War Whip, sure. The only downside that there is that, yes, I would get another 2-2 two -two with an extra loyalty, but the, the, the creature itself is not a native double striker, right? Oh, the plus one is until the their end of turn? I didn't read that correctly. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a little bit better than that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Gross. Well, this is why you read new cards like 50 times to make sure that you've processed about 5% of it. And then you read it another 50 times after that. If you think I'm reading chat more than like a couple lines at a time, you're crazy. I ain't got time to read you. I have to read all this text. On these cards already. Sounds great. Removal, 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 3 1, removal, 5 5. Alright, we need some lands. If we draw lands, we're in good shape. If we don't draw lands, we lose. Maybe a 3 1 there with three removal spells can get the job done. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this creature is decent. It's an artifact too. I kind of know. I can. Kind of don't want to use any of these on that. I think I'm just gonna pass. Perfect. Uh, so they're eating the token. So if I want to keep the token, I want to slash that in response, right? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it is only a 2-2, but I have nothing else going on, and I have infinite removal, so. Keep my... Keep my 3-1. I'll trade one for three. Great. Deal. And we're drawing lands, too, so that's good. Yeah, this is new wording, not old wording. So you can kill things like this or, you know, um, banishing lights in response and you get to keep your thing. From my very, very large sample size of now three games, it looks like this card's going to be pretty good. ETB, four oil three oil counters. Remove an oil counter. It is pumpable. Okay. I have no idea what priority is holding for with one blue. Oh, I guess this ability itself. Never mind. Unct Unctuses. It's such a weird name. Unctus. Okay. Uh, sure. I did not expect to get a trade there, but I'm happy with that. So, if we can get the Masticore online, this will be a 4-4. Four, four. Infested Flesh Cutter. That's a weird name. Whenever equipped creature attacks, make a 1-1 one, one Might. That's annoying. Uh, okay. Two ways to play it. I could just blow up all of their artifacts right now, or I could just slam the Argentum and say la 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 I kinda like the la 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 play. Oh, they get to bounce the raptor, that's good value. Uh, let's see. We can still discard if we want to, right? This is not an artifact. Oh, man! Oh, no, it's basic land anyways. Never mind. I was going to say, if this could target anything, we could target our own land. Sorry, enchant our own land eat our Masticor, and then sack the land to get it back. That'd be cute, but no. This is on the opponent controls. Um, shoot, if I decline here, I lose my... Lose my buff on my Enforcer. Can't I kill the pacifism? With what? Is this an artifact? No. Am I crazy? Oh, I can discard to the Masticore and kill the uh, enchantment. Ah. <laughs> ah. Well, too late now. If that was if, if that's what chat was saying, I already passed priority and it's all ogre. Too late. Too late, chat. Dune Mover. Search your library for a basic land, put it on top. Oh, that's okay. That's a fine filler card. It's got toxic. I don't mind though. That is terrifying. They want triple blue slash. Wait, we know it's in their hand though.
Wait, that had to be a mistake. I think they... I think they thought you had to do this. That Yeah, that was definitely just a mistake. Okay, uh, I do need to eat that. Enchant basic land you control. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Am I stupid? Why did this... Did I miscount my mana? One, two, one... Oh, I did miscount. Okay, never mind. Let's see, they're drawing a land. We just have lethal, though, right? We're fine, we're fine. I made zero mistakes this game. You know how I know? Because we won. Winning at one life is better than winning at any more. Okay. Once again, my record maintains flawlessness. Thank you for tuning in. Zero mistakes, won the game. Zero mistakes, perfect play, one life. That's how you do it. <clears throat> Supported Shay, thanks to the Prime Subby. Geo, thanks to the Prime Subby. Yeah, set looks great so far. Just draw perfectly, have a couple of bombs. Win every game. How hard could that be? Sand needs any equipment. Any equipment, and this hand gets real scary with the uh, jawbone. Okay, this makes two toxic doo-doos, and it's a 3-3 flyer for five. That qualifies. Two, three menace. Equipment spells cost one less. Activated abilities of equipment you control that target it cost one less. Yeah, the nice thing about playing so much limited all the time is that at least I can rate cards individually. Maybe not, you know, as a uh, whole of the format, but just this just reads like a really good card, right? Three mana, one four, toxic one. Eat something that costs three or less until it leaves. It's just good. Three mana. Tap enchanted creature, then proliferate. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller to untap step. This is only creatures my opponent controls. Though I guess it wouldn't be very hard to be like, hey, that card looks good. <laughs> Oh, zero mana equip! Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh, we built our own 3-3 three, three menace for three cards. In addition to two two twos, I guess. When it dies, you what? Do something. Look at the top three of your library. Put one of them in your hand, the rest in your graveyard. Don't care. I don't know how many wrath effects, if any, are in this format. Until I until I run into one, I'm just gonna always just dump. <laughs> I mean, it's Frixia. They're not gonna have any removal spells. Oh, 
Oh, these mites look weird. Look at those teeth. Looks like some, it looks like that, uh, oh God, what's that Pokemon's name? That like ninja frog. Why can't I remember? It starts with like a G. You know what I'm talking about? What's its name? Greninja, yeah, kind of like a weird, if you like, what is this? There's an additional cast, pay four or sacrifice and creep. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it looks like Greninja if you were like to strip away its flesh. That's not dark. I do know Krogunk and Toxicroak, yeah. I don't know why I came up with uh, the Greninja first. What's up, Logal? Thanks for the 38 months, Subby. Thunder Nick, thanks for the 33 months. A winner is you! Thanks for the Prime. Yeah, I mean, let's be real. We've drafted a decent curve. We've drawn very well. That's probably going to do well day one on a new format, you know? Fancy French fry. Thanks for the prime sub. I need a two mana play here. It's probably good enough to keep. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we latched onto red white early. It's a fine thing to do. Like, if you want to force at the beginning of a format, that's the best time to do so. Just latch onto any uncommon that you see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother killing a 2 2. We have too many creatures that block that. Oh, I guess I should play out the red equipment since I only have one red source. Next turn we can go slash plus helm if we want to. Wigglers. You got me. We'll see how much damage I take since I didn't slash that slinger immediately. Up to four damage now. Biddies. Wigglers. Or five haste. I need to find some removal. Oh, that sucks. Getting hurt by the tap land there. That is a big bait. Look at that tap. I can't equip for one white. Come on now. Trying to get me. Trying to get me good. They just have another fatty here, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, good news, they cannot kill both creatures when I go for a double block. If I'm them, I'm attacking with the 2-2, two -two. yeah, we'll go ahead and just slash it now. That way I don't go to 6. This one's going to turn into a 4-3, so... Oh, they killed the wrong creature. Perfect. Are these artifacts? Oh, damn it. Um...
Yeah. I'm going to attack here. Because I'm not chumping if they kill my 5-5. Five five. What do you mean again? Wasn't dead. The other time we drew it, it wasn't dead. It was good. The other time. What are you talking about? This card's great main deck. Not crazy. Look at my Hadron. Thanks for the five months. I could equip for one white. How? Mm, I don't think that's what the... No. Right? Oh, no, no. Equipment costs... Cost, you're right. Equip abilities you activate of others. Right, 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 right. I could have. Gain three life, then if you control point, a permanent with an oil draw card. Five mana, three, four, gain three. That sometimes draws a card. That's okay. Yeah, it's like one stat point away from pretty good. That's okay. Kill my own equips to get two twos. If, if I pay five or more, yes. Uh, I guess we just have to sit back here. Let's play out the 4-3 Menace and then equip the Helm. This is my very first draft of the format. We're playing against green, red Chonkers here. Contagious Vorak. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, ETB. Look at top 4 of your library. You may reveal a land from among them, put in your hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order if you didn't put a card in your hand this way, proliferate. I like that card a lot. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, draw a land a lot of the time. Seems really good. Oh, we're dying to some combat trick. What was that? Hazard Blast deals one damage each creature your opponent's control. Creatures your opponent's control can't block this turn. <laughs> Chat, we dieted. And I don't think there was much we could have done. Yeah, four mana Cosmetronic. Oh wait, Cosmetronic was already four mana, wasn't it? I would have been at two if I did. Oh, uh, wait, wait, if I did what? Oh, if I killed the two, two immediately. Yeah, I don't think that was right to do, though. Two drop, three drop, four drop. No artifacts. Until now. All right, nice hand. No, because if you think about it, they just wait until they get one more creature instead of doing it, you know? 2-2 two, two for 2, Toxic 1, when it dies, proliferate. That's actually just a really annoying card. Ambulatory Edifice. When it enters the... Boy, what just happened here? You may pay 2 life when you do target a creature gets minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. That's nice. Uh-oh. Blue-black aggro curve out here. Return target and all that permanent to its owner's hand if that permanent had value. What is happening? Their draw is nuts! I mean, it's safer to play out the ward, but if I do, then they can attack with the 2-2. Two -two.
Two two flying, death touch, life link. Okay. Streamer needs to find his lands. Both players on three mana. Each opponent gets a poison counter draw card instant. Nice. That doesn't have toxic itself though. Hello? I've at 18 lands, by the way. Come on, deck. That's good. Oh, the bird! Skrelv? Defector Might. Can't block, choose a color, another target creature control gains toxic one, a hexproof from that color until the turn can't be blocked. Oh no, now we're gonna get infected out. We're definitely getting infected out. We have two sentries of our own that we could draw. That would be pretty good. Oh my god, if I had one more mana! Dude, where are my lands, bro? This is a tap ability, right? Yeah, okay. I might just be dead here. GG. I guess I wasn't technically just dead, but... Pretty dead. Nothing I can do. Yeah, they had a great draw. We stumbled on lands more than they did. Can't do much about that. Now there's a good hand. Crawling chorus. And I just gonna one one toxic for one. Okay. When's your turn for a strike? The toxic begins. We're just going to eat the 2-2. Two -two. That means if they kill our sentry, we don't give them back anything. If they're just on mono crawling chorus, we're probably doing great. Lemme winks, thanks for the prime subby. Lima punk, thanks for the three months subby. Right, Billy. Mountain. Mountain GG. That gives us vigilance. 
do do. So I go up to three poison. We want to move this over so that we have two good blockers versus one power creatures versus just one. Corrupted online. What's corrupted? Oh, 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 the cards that care about three poison. I see. I see. I see, I see. They're going to be really sad about that removal spell when I draw land for the uh, Emperor here. When I draw a land for the Emperor here... Oh, this triggers on any artifact. I guess that card would be really, really bad if it just triggered once by itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll eat it. Well, they have one card in their hand. Nah, I don't even care. You just go. No, this is uh, creature or planeswalker only. That's what I was checking. That's good. Still want to be a little bit cautious. We have too much action in our hand. I don't want to get aggressive here when we have so many powerful things to do. Let's open up for everybody on Tuesday, so another four or five days, right? Dearly divided thanks to the four months of Prime. <clears throat> okay. Now you're infected, bro. Santasm, thanks for that. Prime subby. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature, you're going to get plus one, plus one, turn to turn if that creature has toxic instead, it gets plus two, plus two. Hold full priority so they don't go to combat. Charge. How do I con. Oh, I see. So it looks like you have to highlight their um, avatar to choose them. It will automatically choose them, it looks like, but. I don't really care about that. Let's just make a double striker. I brought back the Kemba, Ka Enduring. Attach up to one target equipment you control to that creature. Equip creatures you control get plus one and create. Wow. That's a two drop? She, that card is nice. Would be a real shame if I did any number of things to get rid of it. Can I kill them here? How close are they to dead? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I guess this was worse than using Sentry, because Sentry only deals with smaller crap. Eh. We can win 
this together. Probably shouldn't even play this, but... Uh, there aren't any Wrath effects in the format, because I haven't seen any cast yet, so... Checkmate. I just cast a Wrath? I did? Oh, that, this is not a Wrath. Heck is this thing? Vran Executioner Thane. 2-2, two, two, whenever one more creature you control die, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. This ability triggers only once each turn. Well, just a decent two drop. Children at home. <laughs> I know you do. I was made aware of this after we had ourselves read it for the 10th time. Well, when we don't get mana screwed, our deck wins. Seems like a good deck to me. Two drop, three drop removal, four drop double removal. Good enough hand, though. This thing, this is the oil counter. Add one mana once, maybe more if you have more oils. As long as the turn crypt creature has first strike and trample. Oh, that's a nice one. No, I can't block on their turn, so might as well attack. We're really hoping they just play another artifact next turn. I probably am going to end up underrating this Cultivator, but man, is it real, real slow. Obviously, if you have other oil synergies, then sure. Maybe I'll come around to it after seeing some oil stuff go around. No, this one's uncommon. Yeah, yeah, I literally just said we know that you choose the creature. Coax, coax! Thanks to the 108! What's a bubba? Thanks to the 9 month subby. That would have been a great turn to have anything to do here. Four, three, two oil counters. When it attacks me, if you untap and it gets plus one, plus one, until it's turn. Oh, more land, more GG. ETB oil counter gets plus one plus one for each oil counter on it. Whenever another kind of thing to that creature's greater power, then put an oil counter on this. The beginning of combat and turn, you may remove an oil counter from it when you do target creature gains flying, vigilance, death touch, or lifelink. I see. Okay. Oh my lord, help! And if we could do this for one more, we could get a bunch of extra tokens. Oh, uh, I guess that it's only until end of turn. 
Like, we wouldn't really want to kill our equipment. I'll probably just have to cast this. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I, I wouldn't have to kill our own. I could destroy just their two tokens, or their two artifacts, and get one myself. Yeah, this spell differential is going to kill us. They have three spells in their hands. Blowing up my own equipment was probably still good. I don't think so. Wait, why? To be a 2-2 two, two and... No. What? They drew literally five more spells than us. <laughs> no! Unlucky. <sighs> GG's. All right, well, we went five and three in our very first draft. And I, again, I think every single loss was to mana issues, be it screw or the flood there at the end. And I don't think that's a result of 18 lands. Like, we screwed more than we flooded. Plus, we have three.